you ever seen something that's clearly labeled, and despite it being clearly labeled, you investigate it, and then you're surprised that you were told exactly what it was from the clear labeling? I don't know what I expected. Today's quickie game is one of those super well-labeled things that I have been left in shock about. So let's set up my timer and jump into the next game from my ridiculously huge backlog, Night of the Lesbian Vampires. Today's quickie review comes from the small indie developer Project Enzo, which is a publishing branch owned by Tofu Rocks. Both companies produce queer content, mostly in the form of visual novels. Night of the Lesbian Vampires is one of those. This short visual novel is about lesbian vampires seducing a blood bank technician over the course of one night. The title kind of covers this game completely in terms of what you're getting from the story. The two vampires fighting for your affections, or possibly just your blood, are Carmilla and Elizabeth. Carmilla is the more outgoing, flirty option, while Elizabeth is the reserved, more mysterious option. I went for Carmilla my first time through. Her confidence was much more appealing than Elizabeth's aloofness. The first half of the game where you're talking to the two of them at the same time, Carmilla was just so much more captivating. Maybe that was just my personal feelings, but I kind of feel like the game itself liked Carmilla more than it liked Elizabeth. Both dates also end up in the same location, a bar called Bloodlust, which Carmilla actually owns. I understand that as a small developer, reusing assets like backgrounds is just the economical thing to do, but it was another thing that just made me more biased towards Carmilla. The art of the piece also had me very biased towards her. Look, I have a type, okay? This is doing it for me. This isn't. I mean, Elizabeth is described as wearing overalls. Carmilla's in a crop top. Damn, I love a crop top. And a low cut one at that? The art that's not just Carmilla's rockin' cleavage is nice too. Which is to say the rest of the art in the game. It's pretty and colorful. The bar is particularly striking with vibrant blues and purples. I don't play a ton of visual novels, but the art seems typical of this style of game. And I don't mean that negatively at all, this all just feels very indicative of the genre. I feel like it tells you exactly what you're gonna get. As if the title didn't do that already, right? What ended up catching me a little bit off guard was the music. The soundtrack for Night of the Lesbian Vampires was this sort of non-committal jazz. Does that make sense? Like it was jazzy, but not jazz? It was leaning into jazz, but it was still at an acute angle. It's not exactly what I would have chosen for a game about vampires. Maybe lesbians, but not vampires. The game is fully voiced though, so that's definitely a positive check mark to put into this indie game experience. Ooh. Kinky. Night of the Lesbian Vampires is a little bare in regards to choices. Visual novels are supposed to be about choices. The few others that I've played, namely Doki Doki Literature Club, offered a slew of choices. But Night of the Lesbian Vampires only offers you Carmilla or Elizabeth, and then infinitely smaller choices than that once you choose one of them. It was a small game developed by a small indie developer though, so I can't look at it too harshly in terms of the content within. I mean, come on, Night of the Lesbian Vampires offers you a night of vampires that are also lesbians. Is there anything else on Earth that a person needs? Ooh, kinky. <laughs> there should be more lesbians, both in this game and in real life. That's my firm stance and I won't be swayed from it. Everyone else just has to get on my level. Just like always, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, don't let the ghoulies get you down.